All right, guys. I know I've been gone for quite a while, and it's not for no good reason. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to say. Um, this year has been complete nonsense. We'll just keep it PG. Um, I lost two of my brothers. It's been extremely difficult for me and my family. Um, to be honest, I just really haven't been in the right mindset to get out here and make videos. Um, this isn't a call for sympathy or anything like that. I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been. Um, yeah, it's just tragic, man. Unfortunate. Miss them every day. So, but both of them would love for me to continue doing what I've been doing on here. So I'm going to put in effort from now on to get out here and start making content again because I need to. It's been a long time. So this video is for Preston. This video is for Dustin. I miss you guys. I love you guys. Miss you every day. Just sucks. <laughs> Absolutely sucks. So, let me show you some of the things that I've done on my Forerunners. Pretty minor things that um, I've been doing kind of here and there just to get things off my mind. But I just haven't wanted to... I haven't wanted to wanted I haven't wanted to stick a camera in my face because I just this is kind of my therapy this is what I like to do to get away from everything and so I've just been doing little things here and there to uh get my mind off of it and uh yeah so that's where we're at guys um other than that life is beautiful um we got a beautiful family. I haven't even shown you guys, but I have a second kid. And he's already one. He just turned one last week, so it's freaking awesome. Um, been spending a lot of time with my boys and my wife this summer. You can see I got the rooftop tent on. We've been doing some camping and hanging out with family and just all that fun stuff. So let me show you guys some of the things that I've done in the meantime, while I've been gone for quite a while. I haven't even been wheeling since uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So it's time to get back to it, get the rigs dialed, um, and start doing what I like to do instead of just sitting around <laughs> and doing nothing. I really haven't been doing nothing with two young boys it's pretty wild so anyway let me show you so on the solid axle third gen um i've got ram assist now got that all squared away got a big old ram on there um power steering reservoir aftermarket new pump my power steering cooler's mounted to the radiator behind the radiator shroud you can't see it but turned out super nice nice and clean it uh really changed the steering on this thing when you're turning 38 inch tires with your front locker on um in the rocks it is hard to steer and i haven't even got to test it out yet but just on pavement i can be fully locked low in four low and I can turn the wheel with my finger. It's pretty nice. So let's check out some interior things that I've installed too. All right, so this 
right here is super cool. This is uh, from TEQ Off-Road. They were super cool, and they sent this to me. It's like a molly panel for your, uh, I don't even know what you want to call this, but like your center, entertainment center thing, whatever. Um, you just use a couple screws, screw it on here. I've got a nice RAM phone mount, and I uh, change the position of my aux beam switches. Um, and then this is for a walkie-talkie. You just clip it on here. Super slick. If you know, this was originally mounted clear down under here. So I like having it all up here. I want to wire up my locker and my compressor to this. I just haven't got around to it. So yeah, huge shout out to TEQ Off-Road. Check their stuff out. They make some cool accessories and sell a bunch of stuff on their website. So check them out. So I've got a lot of comments on my cage, my roll cage installs, install video. There's the cage about that I need to tie it into the frame. So I just wanted to show you guys that I've done that. Where is it? Ugh, sorry. So right there, there's one. There's two. And then there's one on the back. So cage is fully tied in to the frame all the way back. I haven't painted it yet or anything. Just haven't, like, a, you know, you know. Time is a thing. So that's pretty much it on the solid axle forerunner nothing crazy just need to go out and beat it up um i'm gonna pull the transfer case because it's leaking and then i need to put some new leaf springs on the rear because i've already destroyed those ones so yeah that's the solid axle forerunner let's talk about this guy uh, you can see i've been working on a project today just picked up this new uh, washer fluid reservoir it's from Scar Scarab Off Road. Your Jeep tears go in there. <laughs> One of my very first videos I ever did, I built this um, and installed it in my 4Runner. It absolutely works still, nothing wrong with it. I bought this for that one. But um, this power steering reservoir hits right here. So my box can't even be bolted in. It's just kind of flopping around right now. It's kind of ghetto, but it works. So I was like, you know what? This 400 is way nice. Let's put a nice reservoir in here with a nice way to mount it and everything. So yeah, check them out. Scarab's dope. They built some cool stuff. Let's see, what else have we done to this thing? Not much, honestly. This thing's been kind of not really on my radar because of this thing. Um, oh yeah, 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 check this out. This right here. I just put a new steering wheel cover on here. This is from East Detailing. Um, you actually have to stitch it on. It's pretty easy to do. You just take your airbag off. And uh, yeah, it's full leather, perforated. I added the Toyota Racing Colors right here because I thought that was pretty dang sweet. I don't have my key, so it's not straight. But um, if your steering wheel is clapped out, I highly recommend one of these, dude. It's super nice. Like the fitment on this thing is perfect. Feels good. So... If you want to get yourself a new steering wheel cover, I actually have a discount code I'll link in the description. Check that out, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's about all I've done on this thing. So, so yeah. another question that I get constantly is, when are you going to finish that long travel, Austin? And the answer is, very soon. Um... I ditched the homemade kit, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it. It's super just kind of ghetto. Um, I don't even know if the geometry is right. I just bought the plans off some kid on the internet who designed it in like high school. 
and I just don't trust it. You can you can say what you want, but I want to be safe just driving this thing down the freeway. So pretty pretty soon we will have a BTF plus four and a half inch kit on the front of this thing. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do on the rear yet. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to throw some spacers on to make the front and the back kind of somewhat even. Um, I'm gonna try and stuff those bypasses and they're still uh, for sure go outboard shock hoop and all that. So BTF kits on order. I'm just waiting for it to show up. So yeah, that's a little life update, guys. Sorry to ghost you like that, but it's been rough. So that's where we're at currently with the forerunners. Um, I don't know how many of you care, but the old Dodge over here, she's been giving me hell too. Um, broke the clutch master cylinder straight through the firewall. Put, just put a brand new clutch in it. Um, I think the part was faulty to be honest with you. Uh, and then after that, I lost oil pressure. Turns out that the switch was bad, the oil pressure switch, whatever you want to call it. That was a quick, easy fix. Hard to find the part, but this thing is going to get uh, really torn apart because I have major oil leaks on this thing. As you can see, it just leaks oil like crazy. So I got to tear the whole front of the truck off. The whole side the driver's side there, there's what's called a tappet cover over there i gotta reseal that and some other power steering stuff so yeah that's the uh the update on the old the old shop still out here i'm still alive thank god um yeah i'll be posted more soon i appreciate the ones that are still watching and commenting and all that stuff so check out the uh, links down in the description if you want to do steering wheel cover um, check that out you can save like 10 percent, i think it is so we'll see you in the next one guys